One of my favorite things to review on this channel is timers, and that may sound kind of boring, but I'm a student and I use timers to help me stay productive. And if you're someone that's heard of the Pomodoro method of studying or working, you're probably a fan of timers too. And I've taken a look at some cool ones, ones with accelerometers, ones with dials that you turn. My current favorite is this guy right here. This is the Mini 3, I believe is what it's called. And it's a visual timer. It has this uh, cool clock interface that uh, shows you how much time to study or work you have remaining but um a company reached out to me a guy named Dave uh, and he has invented this this is called the focus timer it's a new visual timer it has a really beautiful cool aesthetic which we're gonna talk about and uh, he sent this beta testing product over to me to take a look at to see what I think about it. In this video today, we're gonna take a look at this little guy. I'm gonna try it out right here on the table in front of you, let you know my thoughts on it, see if I think it's worth picking up. I think they're gonna do a, a crowdfunding campaign to get this guy in actual production and uh, compare it to some of the other timers for the Pomodoro method that I've used in the past. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jordan. This is the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back as always. We're gonna dive into talking about this focus timer, but before we do that, if you're not a subscriber, hopefully I can earn it by the end of this video. Uh, it helps the channel grow, and every week I'm bringing out new tech reviews, sound, lighting, camera, audio equipment, DJ gear, you name it, I'll probably find it on Amazon and give it a test. But let's not waste any more time with that. Let's take a look at this focus timer. Now, when Dave originally reached out to me, he said that the goal of this timer was to create something uh, that was kind of a combination of other successful timers uh, that I've reviewed in the past, not because of my channel specifically, but because there's a lot of good design elements out there in timers. And with this focus timer, his goal was to create something that was aesthetically pleasing, that would look good on your desk, it wouldn't seem out of place or utilitarian, but also had really nice and easy to use functionality. And so this focus timer is kind of in an hourglass shape. It's got a really uh, interesting kind of all white um, smooth design there's barely any lines just right here at the bottom where it separates into the button and at the top and uh, that might be changed in the final production model but even as is this looks really nice and once we turn it on and you see it powered up it looks even cooler now there's no visible buttons anywhere on the focus timer the only uh, really break in the design is that uh, charging port USB-C right there at the back other than that it's very sleek uh, and and modern now to use this there is one button it's hidden it's just the uh, the bottom portion of the timer right here if you click this the timer will power up now let me give it a second here there we go and you can see it turns on like that now that button is also used to turn it off just by holding it for a few seconds it will turn red and then it will power down now you can also use that button to change the volume I'm gonna put it up by my microphone if I click it let's see if you can hear it here there we go so there's a high a medium and a low volume and then another one I think puts it on mute so if I click it one more time we should get back to high maybe wait for it maybe I'm not pushing the button hard enough there it is okay I don't think I'm pushing the button hard enough got to give it a little bit of a pressure now it does have the audio timer portion but it also is visual it has these really cool glowing LED rings you can see more of them light up there like that and how this guy works there's a nine uh, axis accelerometer in here you don't have to use buttons to set it you literally just set it on your surface I'm gonna turn this light off so you can see it a little bit better you set it on your surface okay I'm gonna use my hand and then you turn the timer in space to turn see that that's how you set your time so every blue line I'm gonna to turn to the left every blue line is a single minute you see that so let's start at the bottom okay so here is uh, the base and as we add blue lines those are single minutes okay now once that fills up we get to the orange lines every orange line is 10 minutes so if I back this up turn it to the left and it's really cool it just it's so simple you get a nice satisfying click every time you turn it you hear that? That is so neat. So I'm just gonna put it, that's the lowest, one minute timer. And then when you're ready to set it, you just flip it over like that. It gives you a ding to let you know that it's counting down. And then if I were to do a longer timer, you know, this would fill up to the top, but I'm just gonna leave it right there. And it looks like the LED is kind of like, let me back it up here. It looks like the LED is kind of pulsating and breathing. So it's kind of like fading in and out, very subtle, not distracting. And the reason that I like a visual timer like this, like I have my mini here, is that a visual timer uh, allows me to use this in places that I 
normally couldn't use another kind of timer. If it's too loud, if there's a big alarm going off, uh, you can't use it in a library, which is where I do a lot of my studying, or in a public place. This can be muted, and you can just go off of the visual component of the timer, which is really neat. Now, we're waiting for this minute to count down right here. I'm just gonna keep it set uh, right there on the table. But already, you know, the, the functionality of this is extremely intuitive. Literally click the button, twist the timer, hear the clicks, get to the number of rings you want, and then flip it over, and you're good to go. There's my uh, alarm. It looks like, okay, it's dinging a few times. Let me turn this back off so you guys can see. All right, it's dinging and it's kind of pulsating the lights there. It is really, really beautiful to look at. Now, in a fully lit room, uh, the lights may be a little tough to see, but uh, you know, if your office is kind of dim, uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so. It's done, let's see if I can reset it. If I turn it, okay, that's not doing it. Maybe I have to turn it back over to the other side. Okay, so you gotta turn it back to the other side and now I can reset it. So let's go, so that's 10 and now there's my 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 right? All the way up to 20. So there's five, one, two, three, four, five, six rings, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So you can do up to 10 rings times 10 minutes, uh, 100 minutes, okay. So I think that's where we max out right there. Then we can go back down. Cool, so it looks like you get blue rings. Maybe if I go slower. It looks like you get blue rings. You can do the one minute intervals. Okay, you can do the one minute intervals up to 30. Yeah, and then it, after that it goes by 10 minute intervals. Okay, so that is the focus timer. This thing is awesome. Um, when this video drops, I should have a link to crowdfund this if you want to grab one of these. Um, you know, similar in you know good aesthetic design to the Mini, but it's got this really you know intuitive functionality. This thing is very hard to program. This anyone could do it, okay? So if you wanna pick one of these up or you know, crowdfund it so it can get made, I'll include a link down in the description. You can go to that, support it, and uh, hopefully we can see production models of these because this is really, really cool. Now, if you're not already, consider becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you around on the channel in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.